And in three years, Oasis will have gone from being a new signing to one of Rock's true giants. What happened to you in those three years? So it's a big question. It is a big question. And it deserves a big answer. We're just lads from a council estate. Two brothers. No, it's the funny farm. Ed cases. Come on, you bastard! <laughs> Nobody had heard of us, but we had spirit. We never gave up. One night, everything changed. There is a story about you getting signed for creation. Alan McGee saw you in the club, is that right? I did, yeah. He signed us there and then on the spot. No one had ever come along that was even remotely like us. Their debut album is already the classic of our time. Then it just blew up. The most popular rock and roll band in Britain today. Oasis were involved in a drunken brawl. Immediately condemned by politicians. The day that it steps over into the tabloids, then you've gone to the dark side. Trouble seemed to find us. It all happened too quick. Oasis was like a Ferrari. Great to look at, great to drive, and it'll fucking spin out of control every now and again. Oasis's greatest strength was me and Liam. It's also what drove the band into the ground in the end. Give it up for Oasis. One of the biggest bands since the Beatles. It just caught fire all over the world. Dance if they want to dance, please, brother, it was just a great time to be alive. It was fucking biblical, man. I'd do it all again in that way. Sometimes I wish it had gone a different way, but it hasn't. I just think in the times in which we live, it would be unrepeatable. If this ever goes on like a video, I would apologise, but I'm not going to, because he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs>